Throughout human history, consciousness has undergone cyclic transformations leading to the development of transformative cycles. Our biology was changed to make us stand upright, removing the need for our hands to do other things and so consciousness had to find a new way of interacting with the physical world. Fire was not only a tool, it was consciousness of how to modify and shape its environment which had a significant impact on our biological ships through cooked food and safe habitats. Language and writing emerged as consciousness created new patterns of information sharing, allowing individual experiences to contribute to collective knowledge. Agriculture wasn't merely about food production, it was consciousness, establishing predictable frameworks that allowed for more complex social evolution. As trade and cities developed, consciousness found new ways to create and process patterns of interaction and innovation. With the Industrial Revolution, the evolution of this consciousness leaped to another framework of interaction with physical reality. Now having arrived at the verge of the AI revolution, one can see that consciousness is also getting ready for another cyclic transition to another level of processing and understanding of reality. Layered Intelligence it is important to understand the various ways in which the architecture of AI can be defended while diving into the transformative potential of AI. The capacity of AI to reshape workplaces and redefine educational and economic landscapes makes it capable of reconfiguring broader social institutions. At the cusp of a technological revolution, it will be crucial to understand the available architecture deployment options in order to guide our advocacy. The future of AI should be common sense oriented and should be such that it can be used by people, organizations, and even power grids without putting a strain on the global infrastructure. A tiered AI could replace the current model of monolithic, cloud-based AI controlled by corporations and power hundreds of AI models from personal to workplace and even power grids. At home, a local AI model running on a personal device should manage routine tasks that require a shallow context window to ensure the privacy of the user and the responsiveness of the system. For more complex reasoning, it could send queries to a home-based AI with an expanded context but would go to a cloud warehouse model only when necessary, thus keeping data exposure to a minimum and compute power usage to a minimum. In the workplace, AI should be domain intelligent. An accounting AI for financial tasks, a legal AI for compliance, an IT AI for system management, and one for networking, as just some examples. Logically all running locally to avoid computational expense and for the best possible task-focused intelligence. The decentralized AI architecture would also be very useful for our power grid, which is feeling the growing pressure of the energy demand of cloud-based AI services. Edge computing as a model shifts the processing load from millions of devices instead of concentrating it on a few large data centers, thereby not overburdening the power-hungry server farms. A model that is more local and uses cloud compute only when required is a better way to move towards a sustainable future of AI while also improving the energy and systemic efficiency. When AI is kept local and at the same time scalable, people and companies regain control of their digital assets and are less dependent on the infrastructure provided by corporations, thus leading to a more equitable, energy efficient and private use of technological resources. Although there are those interactions with external systems, all the personal data and conversations are stored on the device and you are the only one who can control them. Security is the priority of this architecture, but it can stretch to the cloud for the wealth of knowledge when required. This balance between privacy and capability ensures that your personal information remains under your control while still benefiting from the broader knowledge available in cloud-based systems. AI versus surveillance capitalism. This would be a giant shift for advertising agencies and would fundamentally change how they operate. They would be severely restricted in their ability to target you 
with personalized ads if they can't see your web searches and browser history. The current model of surveillance capitalism that has us as clicks and searches as data points for targeted advertising would be facing a significant challenge. This transformation could be a return to a more privacy-focused internet, but with the advanced capabilities of an AI that enhance, rather than compromise, user autonomy. You could have AI assistants that only work for you, making recommendations based on your locally stored preferences rather than on data sold to the highest bidder. Your digital footprint would be yours alone, not a commodity to be traded among corporations. A chance to fight for a digital world where privacy is the priority for a technology that works for the user, not for the corporations. You are not the product. You are the only consumer of your digital output. It is not just a matter of blocking ads. It is a question of changing the nature of the relationship between users and technologies. This is what we should be pushing for, a future where technological advancement does not come at the cost of personal privacy. They are the tools and capabilities. What is missing now is the will to use them in the user rights instead of corporate profits. Personalized AI. Having localized AI in education could change learning by providing a personalized experience to each student based on their skills and passions while keeping important social interactions and collaboration in traditional classrooms. Satellite AI tutors who know the student's learning style, pace and interest could coexist with teachers to make education truly personal while also keeping the crucial learning elements human. In healthcare, security and efficiency of sharing health data can be enhanced by storing the data locally and using secure sharing through the application of artificial intelligence. Your personal AI could hold all your medical information, analyze your health trends, I'm not advocating for something implanted in your body, that's bullshit, and send important information to your healthcare professionals. This would enable the patient to own their information and enhance the quality and delivery of the care they receive. With this AI architecture's implementation, the healthcare industry can greatly decrease the amount of administrative work by controlling the data privately on personal devices, while healthcare providers, like doctors, use internal AI services and API communication. It could cut down on administrative expenses, which would enable more resources to be used in patient care. In consequence, cutting down on the need for administrative labor, the cost savings might very well make a universal healthcare system attainable and financially viable. Through the decentralized control of data and the reduction of reliance on centralized systems, it may remake economic structures so as to support a fairer and more efficient digital economy. If this move from decentralized corporate power to individual enablement plays out, it has the potential to revolutionize power dynamics in the digital age and create a more balanced, empowered society in which technology is a tool of the people, not a tool that subordinates them. Philosophical reflection. Change is generally a tumultuous journey which people tend to resist the most when they have the most to lose. Power may attempt to exert control over or quell such because of the potential impact on their bottom line. Further, the modern tech oligarchies who have created kingdoms through the centralization of data will obviously be against any motion that aims to decentralize and empower people. Just to continue my point, these billionaires who have created their empires through the centralized control of data will obviously be opposed to any shift towards decentralization and individual empowerment. However, in the modern world where people do not trust institutions and are afraid of being controlled, it is obvious that change is inevitable. People are now waking up to the real price of so-called free services which are stealing our privacy, autonomy and digital rights. This consciousness builds up the pressure for change which the most powerful corporations cannot simply bulldoze. If such technologies are not accepted by the public, then investing heavily in them by corporations becomes a difficult task. We are already seeing this with the pushback against invasive data collection and surveillance capitalism. 
Real transformation is revolutionary. It challenges conventional beliefs and processes, and thus tends to be chaotic and confrontational as established systems fight back against the challenge to their existence. It is during this struggle that new opportunities and new ways are created and the future is made to speak to the needs and wants of people. As with any major shift in human history, the path forward may be rocky, but the promise of positive change is worth the trip. It's not a question of whether change is going to happen, but what part are we going to play in deciding what kind of change it's going to be? In the next section, we'll turn our focus to the question of whether we are alone in the universe. Can artificial intelligence help us discover and connect with other conscious entities within our own Milky Way galaxy? We'll explore the possibilities and implications of AI in uncovering the mysteries of the cosmos.